Leos, I hope you're doing well. This is Atecha Tarot. Thank you for joining me. My name is Jen, and I'm going to be giving you a reading. I'm going to start by pulling three oracle cards. We'll turn them over throughout the reading, and this will then be tarot cards and moved into Patreon for the extended, if you want to join, right? Let's see what's coming up. Okay, so first card. And let me just get a couple more before we begin. Okay, so this one's sticking out. And one more. So this is for Leo. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's flip this card over. So we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This is just the beginning, so we're not quite sure exactly, um, but this is talking about when this love does come. There's going to be a strong connection here to this person. I am seeing the Eight of Stones. The other card that flipped over um, is the Ace of Stones, but I'm only taking one at a time. So this could be someone new, or it could be someone wanting to give it another chance, like, you know... Um, because it can talk about putting an effort in, right, with the Eight of Stones. This could be someone from your work as well is what I'm getting here, especially with the Three of Stones. It's a very work energy and then the Wheel of Fortune. This could be an unexpected um, happening here. So the first energy I get is, um, because I'm seeing the Nine of Stones here, you could definitely be single uh, or this person could be single. You could have met this person recently or even they could have been watching you for many years too if you've worked with this person. But I mean, let's just say you started a new job in March and maybe that person watching you um, from work. So whoever this is that's coming in, they're going to, well, first of all, what I get is it's actually going to be easy. Like the Eight of Stones is about putting work into it, but it's going to be easy. It's not going to feel like work. You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. I'm getting like animal crackers. So this person could be a childhood friend or it could be very childlike energy where you have fun. So it's easy to make this effort to, to put in the work because um, it's not work at all. This person is very stable, very strong, very solid. They may have like some lineage that's very wise. Seriously, this is my strong lineage energy here too. But I get that this person is also new age, okay? So though this person comes from this historical energy and like this strong lineage, um, what am I trying to say there? I can't remember the word. But anyhow, even though there's also a new age to them, there's something where they take what they've learned from family and all of that, but they have another approach to it or they have a more open approach to it. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Big happy changes, Leo. A new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. This is a big change for you, Leo. I do kind of feel here that you're you're going with someone new or you're going to give someone a chance um, that you weren't giving a chance to before. You may actually be in a situation already and then this person came out out of nowhere, out of the woods, and they're like, woohoo, I'm here. I'm very interested in you. Or this person and you could have had your eyes on each other, but waiting for an opportunity to connect could have been a, a function for work. So what's coming in for Leo with this love? When is this going to happen? That's, you know, it's a new beginning. I mean, this may happen in November or, or what's November is 11. So maybe October is 10. That's the wheel of fortune energy there. Hmm. Tell us more for Leo. Okay. So we have the magician. This person definitely has their eyes on you. I do feel that someone has been hurt or freshly released from 
a situation, a marriage, or a commitment of some sort. Okay, so this could be why this person is watching you. They're allowing you time to heal. They're waiting until you're ready to speak. Um, or they're manifesting. They're trying to make you come to them. What's this? The hangman. This person may not want to come towards you. This person may kind of have a fear of speaking up. Or this person could be holding back until what they think is the right time. This person could also think you're still hung on someone. They could be watching you going through pain and suffering and not moving on. If you feel like that's the situation. But there's chemistry here with this person. But yeah, I do think that you're not moving on from a situation. And unfortunately, this person is watching that. Um, this person wants to make an offer to you, a very solid offer, or maybe it's you. But this person is giving you time and space to clear your energy from whatever this past relationship was. It could have been an unexpected ending. So that for me could also mean like seriously, a really rough ending. Like even like, you know, you just didn't expect it. And this person never came back for whatever reason, right? This could have also been someone that you had a lot of chemistry with that has left now, right? And this person is waiting for you to see that you have chemistry with them and you can have a new beginning, a new adventure. But I do feel with the five of stones, this is about leaving a home or someone leaving your home, that you're still going through a transformation. Someone may smoke a lot of marijuana and it ain't me because I quit. <laughs> um, but there's growth happening here, okay? Let's get one more card uh, before I move into Patreon and dissect this. So we have the healer. It's coming in front of me, right in front of me in reverse. This is the Page of Cups energy. But what this is telling me is that you are still healing from a situation. Someone here is still healing from a situation of the past. Um, it could be a childhood friend or like, you know, a childhood love. I do feel that there's a work energy here because I'm even seeing the busy bees. Um, this, someone could have got stung or hurt. You know, that's why this could be so painful. Could have been a really painful separation that someone had here. Even at the bottom, like with that dragon, it's like getting burned. Or getting stung. Okay, so, I mean, let's pull one more. I feel like you put a lot of work into something. And, like, maybe this person that left, they just shattered your dreams or took that work with them or, you know, everything you built, maybe. So maybe that's why this person is watching you heal. I wanted to get one more and... We have the wonderful Knight of Wands who comes out with a sword. These cards, I mean, let me just prove this right now because I feel like people are not going to believe me. Here we are right at the spirals. And here we go. Spirals, wands. <laughs> like, it just confuses me so much. And he has a sword. It's the weirdest thing. But I love this deck. Thank you, Sandra. So uh, this card for me is about someone possibly watching because one eye has a patch over it. The other doesn't. But it's like they're waiting to make their move. They're waiting to speak, right? The sword is facing down. Not only that, this person could have some people suggesting, hey, go talk to them, go talk to them. Other guys, other guys could be saying that. Um, but this person's like, I'm waiting. I know when. You're too hurt right now with this. If you're, like, I don't think you're going to talk to anyone right now like this. Very sad. Okay, Leo, stay strong. If you want to go into Patreon, I'll see you there. And if not, stay strong, okay? You have someone with their eye on you. They're going to come in. There's going to be new beginnings. 
So you have a lot to look forward to. Thank you. I hope you have a beautiful week, month, everything. Bye for now.